Hi guys, good evening. Nice to see you in the class on time. Hi Rafa, hello Jenny. Hi Wendy, Sulma. Hello. Hi everyone, good to see you here. How are you doing today? How are you? Are you going, doing well? Yes, <laughs> I imagine you are. Okay, I'm, I'm good to see you here, guys. Today, we are going to start by practicing numbers. Okay, let's see if you still remember. Vamos a comenzar la clase tratando de recordar los números que revisamos last week, que los vimos la semana pasada. I'm going to type the number and you have to read the number. Yo lo escribo y ustedes lo leen. I'm going to share the whiteboard with you. And that way we will check it out. Okay, one moment. Okay, let's begin with this one. Okay, Jenny. Hi, Jenny. Let's begin with you. What's that number? 19. Uh-huh, that's the one. Thank you, Jenny. 19, that's the one. Now, Rafa, number? 20, uh, 23. Yes, perfect. Thank you, Rafa. Let's continue with Jamie. Okay, Jamie. Number? 95. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you very much. Vilma. What's that number? 66. Thank you. That's correct. Okay, Karen. What's that number? 105. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, we're going well. So we need difficult numbers, right? Creo que esos están muy fáciles, así que vamos a, a subirle a la dificultad. Let's continue with Sandra. Okay, Sandra. What's that number? One thousand and five. Yes, correct. Thank you, Sandra. Now, Wendy Rivera. What's that number, Wendy? I, I don't hear you, Wendy. Hola. Yes. Quiero ver. No lo sé, la verdad. Okay, let's ask for help. Let's see, Victor Valladares. What is your opinion? Victor, are you there? Yes, you sir. Ah. This number is 1,555. Excellent. Thank you, Victor. 1,555. Uh -huh, Thank you very much, Victor. Okay, now let's change it. Zulma, what's that number, Zulma? Okay. Sería, sería nine hundred. Mm -hmm. Este sixty sixty three. Yes, excellent, ¿Sí? Zulma. Yes, correct. Thank you. Now let's continue with Victor Ramos. Okay, Victor. What is that number? No logro ver. No. Okay. No, let what me... is that number? Let, let me refresh. Get now. That number is. Se me olvidado cómo se dice mil, dos mil. Thousand. One thousand, two thousand. Two thousand. Mm -hmm. Seven. 
seven, what? <laughs> And 73. 700, uh -huh, 73. 2,773. Thank you very much, Victor. Now let's continue with Carla. Hi, Carla. Welcome. Since that Welcome. number. Um, no, 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 no. I'm going to I'm going to use commas and now sería voy a ver los apuntes okay <laughs> um ah uh, los nombres no señor no 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 no. Okay, and in Spanish, in Español, sí. Sí, en Español, sí. Okay, <laughs> mil. Ajá, son diez, ¿verdad? Ajá. Diez Ajá. mil. Ajá. Y los miles los contamos igual que del uno en adelante. One, thousand, mm -hmm. two, thousand, three, four, five, six, seven, ten thousand. Entonces sería ten thousand. Ten thousand, mm -hmm. Thousand. Solo okay. se le agrega el thousand. Solo el thousand. Ajá, uh -huh. es como una cadenita. Por ejemplo, si yo pongo esto y luego pongo esto, ¿cómo quedaría ahora? Do you have an idea, Carla? ¿Tiene una idea de cómo se leería eso? Mm, el ten del diez. Ajá. Son. Fine. Five what? Five what? Five what? No, cinco que le digo ahí. Pero veamos. Okay, <laughs> let's ask <laughs> their classmates. Oscar, uh -huh. hi Oscar, welcome. Okay. Ten thousand. Uh -huh. Ajá. Five, five. Um, Hundred. Hundred. Yes. That's the way we will rate it. Okay, guys. Thank you. And I wanted to share something with you really quick. We will talk a little bit about some titles we can use when we talk to people. So I'm going to share something with you and then we will take the attendance. Okay. So this is a, a little document I have for you to talk about different titles we use with people. Vamos a, a ver un poquito de algunos títulos que pueden utilizar cuando se, se refieren a una persona. So there are different ones. These are the most common ones. Aquí les doy como los más comunes. The ones you will hear the most. Okay, so the first one we have is serve. That is the pronunciation. Sir, with sir, we don't use names. Cuando utilicen sir, no van a utilizar ningún tipo de nombre. It would be incorrect to say Sir Oscar. Eso sería incorrect. Sir Oscar. Nope. Solo sir. Imagine you don't know the name. You don't know the name and you want to talk to a person in a polite way. Imaginen que no conocen el nombre de él, ¿verdad? Y quieren hablarle de una manera educada. Entonces, este sería sir, como señor. Señor y uno no sabe cómo se llama, solo le dice señor. Okay? Sir. Then we have this one. Gentlemen. 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 That one is without a name either. Ese tampoco lleva ningún tipo de nombre. Es como que digamos caballero, gentleman. Okay, so you don't need anything. The gentleman then, para referirse a un caballero, ¿verdad? Algo polite too. Eso también es algo polite. Okay, then we have this one, lure. is not common. Okay, this one is not common, lure. Ese no es común. Lure es como un señor. 
pero es como el Lord cuando tratan como a Dios, como en las escrituras, en la Biblia, en the Lord. Entonces es como alguien excelso, alguien elevado, no lo vamos a utilizar usualmente con una persona común. Superior, algo superior. Sí. Algo muy algo superior. superior. Ajá. Entonces, casi que no, más que todo en la Biblia o en el inglés antiguo. Lord. And then this one is very common. Este sí lo podrían utilizar más. Es madam or ma'am. The same. Madam es como the long word. Y la abbreviation, the abbreviation is mem. Mem is without the name. Ese tampoco lleva un nombre. Mem, Jamie, no. Just mem. Okay? Solo ese, que ese ya es, es como señorita. Okay? That's what it means. Again, you can use any of those. Es el mismo. Pueden utilizar cualquiera. La pronunciación cambia. Madam, mem, mem. That's the way it sounds. Okay, and this one we have lady. Lady is like gentleman, but for uh, women. Lady tampoco se utiliza con nombre, por eso no le he puesto nada. Solo the lady. Es como señorita, como gentleman, and, and lady. Lady es para mujeres, ¿verdad? Eh, okay, Jose, no problem. Thank you for letting me know. And then we have this one, Miss. Miss, you can use the full name or just the last name. Con Miss, si vamos a utilizar el full name, o sea, first name and last name, apellido, eh, y, perdón, nombre y apellido, o solo el last name. Miss, the one you see here, Miss, es como señorita, y se lee Miss. That's the way you, you read it. Lo leemos así. Miss. Okay. Miss. And then you mention the name of the lady. Miss Molina or Miss Karen Molina. Okay. It's respectful. También es respetuoso. And you use it with women who are not married. Este es el que utilizamos con mujeres que no están casadas. Okay. Y es solo para mujeres, not for men. Okay, don't use it with men. And then you have this one, Mrs. Mrs. The pronunciation is different. La pronunciación es distinta. Mrs. Miss. Mrs. And you use full name or just last name. Van a utilizar el full name, first name, and last name. You can say Mrs. and then you mention the name of the person, okay? But this one goes with married women. Esto es para un título para una mujer casada. Ya quedaría como señora, ¿verdad? O doña, I don't know. <laughs> the way you want it to take it. Pero este es para alguien, una mujer casada. But it's a common mistake that sometimes people, people use the first name. Es un, es un error común que algunos utilizan Miss or Mrs. con el primer nombre. Como que yo diga Miss Carla. That's incorrect. Eso estaría mal. Tienen que utilizar Miss en the last name y el último nombre o apellido, ¿verdad? O el, el nombre completo, pero no solo el primer nombre. Okay, and then the last one, sorry, uh -huh, the last one we have is Mr. Mr. That one is for men. Este es para hombres. And you can use full name or just last name. Pueden utilizar de nuevo nombre completo o solo el last name. Mr. Oscar Cruz or Mr. Cruz. That could be another possibility, okay? Do you have questions? Questions about these titles? No. Teacher, puede repetir el último de, de Mister, a, a qué se refería? Mister is for men, es para hombres, y se utiliza con nombre y apellido, 
o solo apellido, Núñez? This will be two options. Es como que digamos, Mr. Oscar Cruz. Or you can say Mr. Cruz. Like that. Those are the options we have. Pero no Mr. Oscar. No Mr. Oscar. Okay, that's a no. Nope. We will listen to your pronunciation. Vamos a escuchar algunos mencionar estas palabras. But right now we have to take the attendance. Solo que voy a tomar primero la asistencia y luego vamos a, a continuar. All right. So let's see. Alex Giovanni. Azucena Vela. Presente. Ok, thank you. Carlos Alberto. Clara Magdalena. Presente. Claudia Rebeca. Presente. Helen Ramos. Presente. Presente. Jennifer Cruz. Jonathan Adán. José Saúl. Karen Molina. Presente. Thank you. José. Presente. Okay. Carla Mendoza. Presente. Noel Arín. Uh -huh. Brian Ortiz. Oscar presente, presente, teacher. Thank you. Presente. Okay. Rafael Cruz. Present, teacher. Sandra Campos. Present. Okay. Verónica Solano. Present. Thank you. Víctor Ramos. Present. Thank you. Víctor Valladares. Present. Vilma Cortés. Present. Wendy Rivera. Wendy Flores. Presente. Presente. Thank you. Wilson Romero. Present, teacher. Xiomara Morán. Present. Jamie Aguinada. Jenny Rodríguez. Present. Yesenia Cruz. Present. Yesenia Flores. Present. Jessica Dimas. Enzulma Hernández. Presente. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, guys, so let's continue. We will listen to some of you. Okay, we will listen to some of you say this. And let's begin with, okay, Yesenia Flores. Yesenia Flores, can you read the first four titles, please? Uh, sir, and Henry May. Lord, maiden or the or main lady. Thank you very much, Yesenia. I'm going to help you with the pronunciation. Sir, could you repeat, please? Sir. Sir. Ajá, suena como que fuera una O en vez de I cuando lo decimos. Sir. Next sir. one. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Madam, madam, ma'am, ma'am. Okay. Please repeat one more time, Chesenia. Madam, all of them, ma todos, sir, all of them. Mm -hmm. and all man, lord, maiden, ma'am, maiden, ma'am, lady. Thank you. Madam. Madam. Yes. Okay, Yesenia. Thank you very much. Now let's listen to Yesenia Cruz. The same ones, Yesenia. 
Los que están sombreados, voy a repetir. Yes. Eh, Sor. Eh, la segunda, como dijo que era. Gentlemen. ¿Cómo? Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Uh -huh. Lord, Madame, or Mom, y Lady. Thank you very much. Correct. All right. Now let's listen to Jamie. Jamie, ajá. Uh -huh. The same, Jamie. Sir, mm -hmm. gentle, Lord, Madam, or Mom. Mm -hmm. and, and the last one. Madam or Mom. And the last one. The last one. Lady. Lady. Thank you, Jamie. Good pronunciation. Now let's switch. Now let's go with the ones there. Okay. Can you help us, Yomara? Can you please repeat the last ones in the inferior side? Xiomara? Wilson? Can you continue, Wilson? Yes. <clears throat> Miss. Mm -hmm. Mers. Mrs. Miss. Mrs. Mister. Mm -hmm. Mister. Mm -hmm. Leo, también. Uh, no, no, that one is not necessary. Okay, sí. thank you very much, Wilson. Good pronunciation. Can you help Mister. us, Vilma? Could you repeat one more time? Miss. Misters, Mister. Thank you, Vilma. El de en medio, el que lleva la S, ese es Mrs. Bien, okay. Ah, Mrs. Mrs. Yes. And the last one, Mister. Okay. Mister. Thank you, Vilma. Now, can you help us, Wendy, Susana? Mister. Sería Miss. Mm -hmm. Miss. Mrs. Mister. Mister. Thank you, Wendy. Uh -huh. El de en medio, guys, es como que se lee así. Mrs. Okay, Mrs. And then you mention the name. That is the pronunciation, the way it sounds. Mrs. Okay, thank you. Do you have questions about these titles or these uh, words we use? Okay, so let's continue. Those are words you can use when you talk about people. In this moment, we will talk about how to talk about the time, okay? We will talk about how to talk about the time. Okay, I'm going to share this with you. One moment. Uh, Okay, so what time is it? What time is it? What time is it? The time. We will talk about how to express that in English. Vamos a hablar de cómo dar la hora en English. There are different options, the same as in Spanish. Hay diferentes maneras, al igual que en español, para darla. Okay, so we have some options here. Okay, let me... Let me check here. Okay, Wendy Rivera, can you read, please, the options? Okay. It is seven o'clock. It is four o'clock. It's two o'clock. Correct. Thank you, Wendy. Guys, questions about this? Is it clear? Lo entendemos todos? Estos relojes? ¿Se entiende la hora que estamos dando a, a conocer? Yes, no. Yes. Okay, all right. Thank you. Next one. Can you help us with the next one, Pedro? Okay. It is 
quarter, quarter, quarter past, ah, uh, quarter past one. It is a quarter past two. It two. is a quarter. <laughs> It is a quarter past one. It is a quarter past ten. Thank you, Vero. Just this one. Se lee, bueno, se lee así. <laughs> Two. That is the pronunciation. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Two. Yes. Okay. okay. Thank you, Vero. Yes, Karen? ¿Y cómo sería en español? Como... 15 minutos pasados de la una, o la una y quince, o la una y cuarto. Ok, mm -hmm. thank you. You're welcome. So guys, for the first 30 minutes of the time, or the hour, we use past. Ok, para los primeros 30 minutos de la hora, Vamos a utilizar la preposition past. Ok, porque ya la vamos a cambiar para los últimos 30 minutes. Past, eh, Yesenia. That is the pronunciation, como the past. Ok, and please observe. Ok, observe the way we do it. Quarter past one. Primero mencionamos los minutos, que sería en este momento quarter, los 15. Y luego la hora, right? Quarter past, and then you mention it. Okay? No vamos a decir primero la hora y luego los minutos. No. Primero los minutos y luego la hora. Okay? Let's take a look to the next one. Okay, the next slide. Sandra, can you read it, please? It is a quarter to four. It is a quarter to nine. It is a quarter to seven. Thank you very much, Sandra. Okay, the preposition has changed. For the last 30 minutes, si observan, pueden ver de que para los últimos 30 minutos hemos cambiado la preposition, right? Ya no es past, ahora es to. That's the one we will use. And again, you mention the minutes first, and then you mention the hour. De nuevo, mencionan primero los minutos y luego la hora. Al revés que el inglés, español, sorry. Al revés de como lo dirían in Spanish. Así lo van a decir in English. Okay, it's a quarter, uh, two, Okay. Y esta preposición funciona para cualquier hora. Si fuera 10, por ejemplo 10, solo vamos a cambiar el quarter. It is 10 to 4. 10 to 4. It is 10 to 4. There are different options. Ajá, Karen. Ahí sería como en español sería como falta un cuarto para las cuatro. Yes. Uh -huh. Y okay. si ya pongo el 10, es como que faltan 10. Uh -huh. okay. And this is an option, guys. Esta es una opción. Que si ustedes quieren, pueden usar la, la más fácil, la más común. Por 45. If you want to use that one, you can do it. Okay, 4.45. It is 4.45. That's the, the most common, right? But just for you to know, aha, uh -huh, Oscar. Eh, usted puso en, ¿cómo se llama? En números, la hora. Eh, es correcto ponerlo también así con una, en una... En una conversación no se puede, tal vez. You Pero can. No sé si... ¿Ah? You can, no sí se puede. En... En se puede. Ajá. Ah, bueno, sí. Yes, you can do it, Oscar. 
Eh, any other questions, Oscar? No sé si tenía otra duda. No, gracias. Ya está. Ok. All right, so let's continue. Rafa, can you read it, please? It is half and past two. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Half. The L is silent. La L es, es muda o no se pronuncia. Es como cuando lo dice solo es half. Y recordemos que la H suena como J en English, right? Half. It is half past two. That is one option. Okay, that's one option. Esa es una opción. Pueden usar la opción común. It is 2.30. That's the normal option, right? If you don't want to complicate your life, you can also use that one. Esa también está bien utilizar. I'm just giving you other options. Solo les estoy ampliando, ¿verdad? El conocimiento de que no solo existe esta, la común. There are other options. Or you can say it is two and a half. También podemos decir esto. It is two and a half. Two and a half. And it's the same. Es también lo mismo. Dos y media. It is half past two. It is two thirty. It is two and a half. The same. Okay, todos son dos y media. Questions in this moment? Teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Y en qué, por ejemplo, en qué otra oración se puede usar el half? ¿O solo es para horas? Es para la mitad. O una se media. Se puede usar en cualquier otra cosa. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. Ok. Yes, you can, can you? Oscar, sorry. Half and a half. Aha, yes, you can say that. Okay, yes, Sandra. Miss, y para decir media libra de arroz. Pound of rice. Ahí se Por el half. Por el half. Se utiliza. Mm -hmm, yes. Sí. Ah, okay. <laughs> Gracias. All right. You're welcome. Okay, here we have uh -huh, two and a half men, right? And you had the little kid. That was half a man. Okay, so here we have other options. Can you read it, uh, Helen, please? Um, it is two and a half. All of them. Okay. It is half past two. It is half past eight. Mm. It is half past ten. Thank you. Okay, so there you have the options. Okay, let's let's practice. One moment. Um, okay, we will use the chat. Okay, we will use the chat, and please select. Inglés corporativo. You're going to send me a private message. Me van a enviar un, un mensaje privado. Ahí en el chat pueden seleccionar a quién enviar el mensaje. Y ahí van a dar donde dice inglés corporativo. Donde dice tú para y dice para todos. Ahí busquen mi nombre. Bueno, inglés corporativo. That is the option you have to select. We will empezar con el número uno. Nurian, do you have a comment? Ok, ready guys, ya todos me seleccionaron, inglés corporativo. Nurian, comments, Nurian. I don't hear you, no le escucho, Nurian. Ok, hey, well, in that case, let's continue. Number one, vamos a empezar con la number one, okay? And I need you guys to send me a message and you tell me the time, okay? What time is it? Clock number one, clock number one. 
Por cierto, así se les dice a los relojes de pared. Se les llama clock or clocks, plural. And the ones you use in your body, los que utilizan en su cuerpo, esos son watches, right? Un watch or plural, watches. The ones you use in your hand, los que utilizan en la mano. Los de pared son clocks. Clock number one, okay? Reloj número uno, clock number one. What time is it? Please send me a message, okay? Mándenme un mensaje and tell me the time. Me dicen qué hora es. Okay, thank you, Alex and Wilson. Going to give you a moment, guys. Vamos a darle un momento a sus compañeros to send it. Correct, Jamie. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Wilson. Carla. Carla, you're missing one word. Le hace falta una palabrita al final, Carla. See if you find it. Revise sus notas, please. Okay. Aquí en el chat, Miss. Uh, o en yes. WhatsApp. Ah, okay. Um, <laughs> ah. Yes, en el chat de acá, mejor. Ok, Oscar, correcto. En el chat de, 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 de ahorita. Uh -huh. Ah, está bien. Ok, thank you. Ajá, Wendy. I was going to say that. Pero lo bueno es que ya, ya lo vio. Ok, well, I got most of your messages. Ya recibí varios. And now let's listen to one of you. Vamos a escuchar a uno de ustedes para confirmar. Claudia, Rebeca, what time is it? Claudia? Or Clara? Ah, okay, Claudia. Okay. Clara, what time is it? Azucena? What about you? What time is it, Azucena? Maybe she's not there. Alex, are you there? Is that you, usted, Alex? No? Zulma? Are you there, Zulma? What time is it? Quiere que se lo leamos. Please. Please. Eh, Clara. Uh -huh. eh, buenas noches. Eh, pues yo creo que es It's one o'clock. Thank you. That's correct. It's one and then you use this o'clock. Thank you very much. That's the one. Let's continue with the next one. Yes. Uh, is, it, uh, is it one o'clock, la uno? Aha. Uh -huh. Correct. Thank you, Azucena. We continue with clock number two. What time is it? Well, we will listen to some of you because of the time. Yesenia Flores, clock number two. What time is it? Can you activate the microphone, Yesenia? Ah, sí, sí. La, la segunda. Number Las two. Diez en, uh, sería eh, it is eh, ten o'clock. The previous one, el anterior. The previous one. Number two. A las once. Eleven o'clock. Eleven o'clock. Thank you. Eleven o'clock. Number three, Jenny. What time is it? Jenny? 
Can you help me with number three, please? Uh, the microphone, Jenny. 10 o'clock. It is 10 o'clock, right? 10 o'clock. Okay, thank you. We will practice a little bit more tomorrow, okay? The time, but there you have an idea about the way we use it. Mañana lo vamos a practicar un poquito más, pero ahí tienen una idea de cómo funciona. Okay, last week we couldn't finish a worksheet. La semana pasada no logramos completar una actividad Vamos a tratar de completarla ahorita. The worksheet I sent on Thursday. La que enviamos la semana pasada, last week, on Thursday. The one you see here. Guys, I don't know if you finished. No sé si algunos le intentaron terminar en casa o no. I want you to try to complete the last part. Que traten de completar la última parte. Like from number six to number nine, de la, prácticamente de la seis a la, a la nueve, diez, I'm sorry. Yes, Victor? Con el grupo sí lo enviamos. Okay, so you can stay here. The ones who are already finished, los que ya terminaron, se pueden quedar acá conmigo. And the ones who haven't finished, I will give you five, five more minutes. Les voy a dar cinco minutitos para que vayan con su grupo and you finish, okay, to review this. Para que, vam, para que revisemos eso. Okay, give me one second. Okay. Remember, if you did it, stay here. Los que terminaron se pueden quedar acá conmigo. And the others, please accept the invite. And in a moment, we will return. Okay, so the ones here you finish. Todos los que están acá ya terminaron. Yesenia, Helen, Jamie. You have, okay, Victor, Victor Valladares, Claudia, Sioma, you're already finished. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tell me, Victor. Para, para el día jueves 20, hay que tener listo todo hasta la sección 5, ¿verdad? Miércoles. Este miércoles. Mm -hmm. Sí, así recibí la notificación. Miércoles. Not Thursday, Victor. Ah, bueno. ¿Qué tal va? ¿Cómo la lleva? Ah, va atrasado. Ok, Victor. Trate de adelantar en estos días porque sí es un requisito para, para que tenga usted su diploma. And, and your attendance. Sí, su asistencia que llegue al 80 y, y sí, lo logramos. Ok, so guys, you're ready finish, right? Vaya, para los que ya terminaron, vamos a hacer un poquito de tiempo en lo que esperamos a sus classmates. So, I would like you to create one question. Okay, create one question for one of your classmates. Creen una pregunta, one or two questions using present continuous. A yes, no question. Creen una pregunta utilizando present continuous. I'm going to return in two minutes. En dos minutos regreso porque hay un equipo que está pidiendo ayuda. I'll be right back. Sandra and Vilma, 
How can I Hola, help you? Este, ya, lo ¿Cuál que... es la actividad? Dígame. <risa> Ajá, Vilma. ¿Cuál es la actividad? ¿Es la de las preguntas y las respuestas o es otra? No me recuerdo bien. Es, es la que tiene una conversation en el principio. Ay, entonces sí, en la conversación. Um, I imagine. Sí, sí, ya la tengo. You have it. Ok, yes. ya terminó. Ok, si ya terminó, Sandra puede regresar al otro room. Ahí donde... Yo le ayudo se... a ella. Irma no ha terminado. No, no ha terminado. Sí, las ter... ¿Eh? Ah, sí, sí las terminó. Sí, las terminó. Ah, bueno. sí. ah, ok. Ah, okay. So ah, in pues that sí. case, sí. let's return. Bien. Regresemos. ¿Saben cómo okay. regresar? Si no les envío la... Aquí el request. Ah, si quieren envíela para más fácil. Ok. Let's go back. Ok, ready guys? Did you create the question? ¿Ya crearon la pregunta? I'm eating in my house. Repeat, Wendy, sorry. I'm eating in my house. I'm sorry, I eating in your house. You, in you my are house. eating yes. in your house. Yes. Ah, okay, with yes. your baby. Yes. Ah, okay, Wendy. That's fine. Okay, Helen, please ask the question to Sandra. Me puedes repetir lo... Lo que acabo de decir, what I just said. O el que, Helen. Lo, no, este, tengo que hacerlo pregunta, lo que dijo Sandra. Uh -huh. One ¿Qué, question qué, qué, for, for Sandra. Una pregunta utilizando present continuous para Sandra. Oh, mía. Uh -huh. um, is the mouse the running? Is the mouse running? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Thank you, Sandra. Or, uh -huh. or no, it's not. Mm -hmm. That could be the negative form. Thank you, Helen and Sandra, correct. Jamie, ready, Jamie? Wendy, do you have a comment? Tiene un comentario, Wendy? No. Okay, Jamie? Please ask Wilson. Are you studying English at, at this moment? Um, please, can you repeat? I didn't hear you. Are you studying English at this moment? Are you studying yes, English? I am. You are, right? <laughs> Okay, now, thank you. Wilson, do you have yours? No, teacher, I, no lo hice. Okay, Wilson. And you, Victor, do you have your question? So, Ramos, do you have it? I'm not finished my question. Oh, okay, and you, Alex, ready? Are we studying English? Okay, thank you, Alex. Claudia, what would you say? Are we studying English? You there, Claudia? No, not there. And you, Xiomara, do you hear me? Xiomara, no. Okay, what would you say about that, uh, Vilma? Are we studying English? Yes, Vilma? I am studying grammar. 
Are we are we studying English? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, we, we are. Aha, yes, yes, we are. Okay, thank you, Vilma. And thank you guys for making the question. So in this moment, we will check the answers. Okay, we will check the last, the last part of the exercise. Okay, let's continue with number six. The sentence, yes, Claudia, it is correct. I am watching the class. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Claudia. Okay, so let's begin, guys. Let's check this. Start with a moment. Uh, Azucena, number six, Azucena. Mr. Stevens is washing the dishes. What is the question, Azucena? Eh, fíjese que como no estuve en la clase, estoy un poco descontinuada, profe. Ah, ok, Azucena. ¿En qué clase no estuvo en la del jueves? Ok. It's about present continuous, Azucena. Estamos viendo present continuous. Ahorita vamos a hacer algunas para que vea qué se hace para hacer una pregunta. Okay, if not, okay. we, I'll give you a review. Si no, ahí voy a hacer un repaso muy rápido. Okay, Karen, number six. Is Mr. Stevens washing dishes? Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Is Mr. Stevens? Washing dishes. Okay, thank you. And then Oscar, the answers, Oscar. Affirmative negative answers. Yes. He is. Or no? No. He's, he isn't. Or well, he's not. Correct. He isn't or he's not. That would be the one. Thank you, Oscar. Now let's continue with Yesenia Cruz. Your cat is eating the food. What is the question, Yesenia? Yesenia Cruz. Carla. Carla Teresa, number seven. Is cat eating the food? You can say, is your cat? Is your cat eating the food? Okay, thank you. What would be the answer, Nurian? Affirmative and negative answer? Uh, sería yes. It, it is, think, or no, or no, it's not. Nice. Thank you very much. Karen, do you have a comment? Y se puede poner también, are your cat eating the food? Because it's only one cat. Porque solo hay un gato. Y este your no es you. Your es solo un possessive. Es como decir tú. Uh -huh. Tu gato. Pero si ya fuera your cat, ahí sí vamos a usar our porque no es solo un gato. We have two or more. Ok. Gracias. You're welcome. Other questions for me? Guys, do you have questions? No. Okay, number eight. The phone is ringing. The phone is ringing. Victor Ramos? Question, Victor. Is 
Sandra? What is hola, the question? Hola. Um, is, is the fall is Yes. It is. Thank you. Can you repeat the question, Victor? I couldn't hear you well. Se le estaba cortando, Victor. No. Is the fall? Is the ah? fall? Ringing. It's the phone ringing. Right. Thank you, Victor. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Or no? Azucena, do you want to try? Ya entendió? Va agarrando la idea, Azucena, o todavía no? Yes, yes. ¿Cuál eh, cree que sería la respuesta? Uh -huh. Y va siempre antes, como es una pregunta. Cambia el verbi. Y para la respuesta, Azucena, ¿cómo iría? No. Eh, sería no, si es no, eh, según la persona, vea, si es ella, es. No, Entonces, she... en esta, ¿cómo quedaría? ¿Is the phone ringing? No. Oh. Eh, is, is, it is no. It is not. Ajá, Susana, correcto. Thank, Thank you. you. Solo cambiamos subject and verb. That's the only thing we do. Okay, let's continue with Vilma. Vilma number nine, please. Um, um, I uh, study grammar. What is the question? Repeat, sorry. Um, um, I study grammar. Thank you, correct. Am I studying grammar? Okay, there it is. Thank you, Vilma. Jamie, yes? Yes, I am. Yes, I am, or? No, I am not. No, I'm not. No, I am not. Or no, I'm not. Thank you, Jamie. Okay, now let's continue with Rafa. Number 10, the airplane is landing. What is the question, Rafa? Bueno, sería, entonces, sería allí, the airplane is the lighting. Sería, the uh -huh. it is the airplane lighting. That could be a possibility, o puede ser is, ¿verdad? Porque ese es el verb be. Is the airplane. Is lighting. No, landing. 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 Thank you, Rafa. Wendy Rivera. The answer is Wendy. Wendy Rivera, are you there? Oh, mm -hmm. oh. Yes, I do. Yes, it is. No, it is not. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Well, good job. You did very well with this. Or no, it isn't. We will continue practicing a little bit more tomorrow. We will check if we can make some conversations. Vamos a ver si empezamos a hacer algunas pequeñas conversations, yeah, tomorrow. Okay, guys, do you have questions before I take the attendance? No sé si tienen alguna pregunta antes que tome asistencia. Oh. Okay, so let's begin. Alex, Miguel. Azucena Vela. Present, teacher. Carlos Alberto. Clara Guillén. Presente. Claudia Orellana. Helen Ramos. Present, teacher. Okay. Jennifer Lisset. Jose Hernández. I'm sorry, Jonathan Hernández and now Jose Jiménez. Karen Molina. Present. Carla Teresa. Present teacher. Noel Larín. 
Nurian Karina. Present teacher. Oscar Cruz. Present teacher. Rafael Cruz. Present teacher. Sandra Campos. Present teacher. Verónica Solano. Present. Víctor Ramos. Víctor Valladares. Present. Present. Okay. Vilma Cortés. Wendy Present. Rivera. Thank you, Wendy. Presente. Okay. Wendy Flores. Presente. Wilson Romero. Presente, teacher. Yomara Morán. Present. Jamie Aguiñada. Present. Jenny Rodríguez. Present. Yesenia Cruz. Yesenia Flores. Present. Jessica Dimas. Thank you. En Zulma Hernández. Presente. Right. No escuché que dijera mi nombre, pero aquí estoy presente. Okay. So guys, that will be all. Um, I will see you tomorrow, okay? Acuérdense de ir llenando su plataforma para el miércoles. Cualquier cosa me escriben. Okay, good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye